In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how to use the wildcard function on Excel. So if we connect to our Excel spreadsheet, you can see here I've got four different spreadsheets with four different years in each spreadsheet. I want to be able to union these together. So I'm going to click on my first one and open it. Excel is great. It has these stupid rows that are blank and no one knows why. But if you use this use data interpreter, it'll allow you it will allow Tableau to automatically pick this up. Now what I'm going to show you here is if I change order date to a date and drag that in. We only have one year. Now I could add every single spreadsheet in here and have four different data connections. What happens when 2019 comes along? I have to go in and manually add a new connection. But with the wildcard union, you can do this automatically. So if I convert to a union, you can see that if I had multiple sheets in here, I could drag them all in. But I can use this thing called wildcard. Now it's going to look in a specific folder. So you need to make sure all of your spreadsheets are saved within or around the same folder. If you have specific sheet names within uh, workbooks, you can union them all together. So if you have a separate tab per spreadsheet, then you could use this and it'll allow you to union them all together. You can also union workbooks from here. So we could delete it all and put a star or an asterisk. This is going to wildcard match anything with an XLSX format inside of it. Now, if I have several spreadsheets in there, but I only want to reference the Superstorer ones, it's going to pick all of those up. Whereas if I do this and go Superstorer, it's then only going to pick those ones up and then with whatever is after it before the XLSX. You can exchange, um, expand search to subfolders, which goes down a folder. And you can also go up a folder. So it goes up to my next folder, which is Tableau Tip Tuesday. Now, if I click OK, it's going to run a little bit and execute the query. I'm just going to quickly change this back to a date here. And then if I go back to my sheet one, you can see I've added all of the years in an automatic wildcard. Now, if I go back to my data source and I go back to edit union, I can still edit those information in here, depending on what you want to search for.